Hey everyone, Miss Trenchcoat here, and um, today is Vlogmas Day 24. It's Christmas Eve. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting in the car right now. I'm not really sure what's going on, and I can't really fix it. But um, as you can see, <laughs> um, yesterday, as you guys know, I wasn't feeling good, so Mike ended up vlogging for me, which was good, and you guys seemed to like that, so I'm glad. Um, right now it's like a little bit before noon and i've been like running around the house i don't have any makeup on i straightened my hair because i had to get that out of the way but um yeah i don't have makeup on i'm just running out to the store right now um to go and buy some ingredients to make cookies i one of the reasons i was just really yesterday i was like not feeling good you could see i like i have like a sore throat <clears throat> coming on so I wasn't feeling good yesterday I was really worn out and I was just like really upset because I tried to make a recipe that I've never made before for these cookies that are kind of like a family recipe and they did not turn out really well um the cookies what ended up happening is that the cookie recipe is really it's kind of like like an old it's not just a family recipe but it's like you know it's an old recipe and it's kind of notoriously hard to make like the people who knew how to make it knew how to make it but the recipe we have isn't like exact and very precise it's kind of like if you were to talk to your grandmother about I don't know one of her signature recipes and she might not have like oh put this amount like a, a cup of this or a cup of that it's more like you know she's like oh but just eyeball it and things like that so you know, it was kind of like one of those recipes where it's not really exact and I'd never made it before. And it ended up that the dough is really hard to work with. It's really hard to knead. It took me forever uh, to knead it. And then it was just crumbling all over. So um, I was able to get like seven cookies made out of like a batch that was supposed to yield like 40 to 50. And so I threw out the rest of the dough. I was like really annoyed. And I was like, that's it. I'm not going to do it again. And then I talked to my aunt and she sent me a recipe that was similar to the recipe that we have. Um, it had some like slightly different ingredients and it had some better directions, which was really what I kind of needed. And um, so it's not the exact recipe, but I'm going to use the directions of this other recipe and use my recipe and kind of like see like fill in the gaps. So basically, I want to try it again because I really wanted to make these cookies for my family for Christmas and bring them down tomorrow when I go see them. So I've decided I'm just going to go out. I know it's probably going to be really busy out. I know I have no makeup on. Um, I know I look like poo, but it's okay. I just, I need to go out and try this. So I may update you guys if it works. Um, if it doesn't, I'll probably in a, be in a depressed coma for like the rest of the day because it just makes me, it upsets me when I can't do something because I'm one of those people that's like, oh, like I, eat, whenever I try something, I pretty much can do it like the first time. So especially with cooking, I like happen to be, I, I'm like Italian. So I have like this natural ability to cook. Baking though has always been something I'm not really that interested in because you there's a lot of little rules with baking There's a lot of like precision Involved with baking and like ingredients having to be a certain temperature and all this stuff that I really don't have the patience for so It really shouldn't be a surprise that this really hard recipe um, And not that it's hard to make but it's like kind of hard to deal with the dough And you kind of have to have like that inside knowledge on what to do. So yeah, I'm gonna try it again today the recipe my aunt sent me made it simplified things in a way that I was like oh I wish I had known this yesterday I wouldn't have had to throw out all that dough I could have just ch changed things a little bit and worked it out but it's okay it's not a big deal I'm only going to go out and get a couple things and it's not going to be that expensive I'm not like worried about the money it's more about trying to get the experience right so I'm going to go out shopping and come home and try to make cookies before Mike comes home they take like three hours to dry though after they've been baked. They only get baked for like 15 minutes, but um, not dry, but they have to cool because it's everything is so temperamental with these cookies. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. I don't know why my windshield wipers are on. Oh, cause we probably left them on yesterday cause yesterday it was raining. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys go for now and I'll try to update you on the cookies. Like I said, I may not mention it if they went downhill again, but I'm hoping that with this other recipe, I'll know a little bit better what I'm doing. Okay guys, so as you can see, I made the cookies. So this um, other recipe was really helpful and I was able to make them better with this one. 
Um, we don't need to go into details of what went wrong, but you know, that's what happened. <laughs> so good, I'm glad that I got to make them. So I am gonna go, you guys, because it's about three and I've got a ton of other cooking to do now that I have these done. So I'm gonna go and cook. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.